Okay, so Mission Strip this year was really, really eye-opening and amazing. I've never experienced so many miracles ever. For an exa example, last year, um, uh, when we were ta walking to, with Pastor Evan, to, um, well, we were on the streets and singing Amazing Grace on the Streets, and God told me to go. I, I saw this guy um, I, um, digging through the trash, and God told me to go talk to him. And I was really nervous, and I ended up speaking to him. And two minutes later, he became a Christian because I stepped out of faith and speak to him. And that's last year. And then um, I walked away, and God told me to go back to him and give my Bible to him. So I walked back to him, and I gave him my Bible. And then throughout the whole year, I said, wouldn't it be awesome if I met him again the next year at um, the next missions trip? So the next year at um, strike night, what do you call it? Night strike. There you go. <laughs> okay. So um, it's Uziel, Ashley, Colby, and I, and we're um, walking together in a group. And uh, there's this guy um, who, he looks, he's like, wow, that guy looks like Michael. He had a big old beard and really like kind of long gray hair. And Col and Ashley started talking to him and then Colby started talking to him. And uh, what happened is I, throughout the whole time Colby was talking to him, I was like, is that Michael? It looks just like him. And, it's, and Col what happened, Colby was talking to Michael deeply about the Holy Spirit. And he said that he knew Jesus, but he kind of fell off of Jesus a little bit. And he said that he wanted to recommit his life to Jesus. So he said the sinner's prayer would, um, to with Colby again, and he recommitted his life to Jesus. And he said his name is Michael. So I'm like, that must be Michael. So, <laughs> so, so he looks like, exactly like Michael, and he said his name is Michael. So I'm like, that must be Michael. <laughs> so I, I didn't want it to be awkward with the, three of, with the four of us, and I don't want to ask him if he was the guy I met last year, if it wasn't him. I didn't want that awkward moment. So I waited for Uzi Colby and Ashley to leave, and I asked him, hey, um, do I, I think I met you last year. I think we prayed together. And he looked at me, and his eyes just opened up so wide. And he said, yeah, I think I remember you. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So we're like, oh, oh. We met each other. We're like, oh. And then we like hugged each other, and it, that was him. He recommended his life, and I met him a second time, and I thought it was, uh, that was amazing. So he, um, I, so I, so that's that. I met him again, and I thought that was amazing. And I, I even asked him if he had his Bible that I gave him last year, and he's like, "No, I lost that." <laughs> but that same night, there's another guy in his wheelchair. I, I prayed for him. His name is Tom. I asked God to use me again to speak to someone else, and so I'm talking to this guy named Tom. He's in his wheelchair, and. Um, as I'm talking to him, God just tells me, give him your Bible again. The Bible, I, uh, the Bible I got last year for giving my other Bible away. He told me to give that Bible away to Tom. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I immediately give my Bible out because I know what happens if I listen to God. So I gave him my Bible and I, said, and I was like, I love that Bible. And I was like, will you use this? And he's like, yes, I will. So I prayed for him and that was that. And then Sunday service came along and I don't know it at first, but he, Tom's back, and he's um, in his wheelchair, and he's like, um, he ends up giving a testimony about how he had a big like fight with these people about how he wants to really be committed to Jesus, and he asked that if he could be baptized in a, actually he should be baptized last Saturday, if he went with Pastor Evan, and he had my Bible. I didn't. I was like, Dutch, Dutch, he has my Bible. Is that God just works in amazing ways, and I gave him my Bible, and I saw him again. I talked to him, and it's just how his life is completely, how he's completely committing his life to God. And it's just really amazing how God works, that all the stuff with these Bibles and how you, two years of amazing things just happened. And that was just one night of everything.